आइए बच्चों लेट अस नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर सो द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर एग्जैक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज टू डिटर्मिन द मास ऑफ अ गिवन बॉडी सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मास ऑफ अ गिवन अननोन मास ऑफ अ गिवन बॉडी यूजिंग द मीटर स्केल just a scale whose length is 1 meter using this scale you can find out the mass of an unknown body by the principle of moments now this is interesting principle of moments i think this is the basic concept behind this experiment this experiment is basically from rotational chapter where you study the balancing of torques so let's first write what is the principle of this that is balancing of torque or principle of moments right so the concept is very simple suppose if there is a rod like this it is balanced at some point this is the balancing point and if you, if you attach two weights at distances if you attach two weights here one weight is attached here let's say this is m1g and one weight is attached somewhere here let's say this is m2g this is x and this is y so if this scale is balanced then the net torque or or you can say the net moment should be zero the net torque about hinge should be zero so that is the basic principle so basically how do we calculate the torque if you can recall we write torque as the force into perpendicular distance this is what is the torque so what we are saying the net clockwise torque should be equal to yeah or you can say if the net torque acting on this system is zero or you can say net clockwise torque is equal to net anti clockwise torque then rod will be balanced that is the basic principle so what does this mean here if you can see this m1g is acting at a distance x so torque due to this m1g is m1g into x now this x is the distance between this point this sharp edge or you can say this is the support support and the place where you have suspended the weight the distance between these two points is x so m2 m1g into x will be equal to similarly the anti clockwise torque will be m2g into y these x and y will be measured distance from suspended masses so clearly you can cancel out this g with this g you can write m1 by m2 will be equal to y by x so that is the main principle all right so now what we'll going to we'll do a simple thing we'll put one mass known mass on right side and the unknown mass on the left side and we'll put it over the that wedge this is the sharp wedge or a knife or something which is which is a very sharp thin edge and you will adjust this uh, scale on it such that it just remains stable there such that it uh, it does not turn it remains stable and from that you can calculate x and y and that gives you the unknown mass so that is the procedure here
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक अ मीटर स्केल टेक अ मीटर स्केल राइट द मीटर स्केल विल हैव रीडिंग फ्रॉम जीरो दिस इज फाइव लेट्स है दिस इज टेन एंड सिमिलरली अप टू हियर हंड्रेड it's a meter scale total length will be 100 now what you will do you will suspend two objects 10 cm on both sides so that it does not fell off right so what you do is you suspend two objects which are exactly 10 cm from both ends this is 90 so basically what you do is you using the string you suspend two objects from here let's say this object is the unknown mass m1 unknown mass and there you place a known mass m2 this is known so first thing you do these are the thin strings basically these are the strings i have understood so you have suspended these two masses at 10 cm from both ends now what you do you place this meter stick over a wedge you place this meter stick over a wedge suppose this is the wedge like this you place this over a wedge such that it just balances such that it just well it should be very sharp for example in this case let me let us say the balancing point is observed let us say this balancing point is observed at let's say x equal to or you can say let's say this is uh 40 cm for example i am just taking so you have to see at which point the uh meter scale is balanced over this wedge this is called as wedge triangular wedge sharp triangular wedge so that you have to calculate 40 cm now from here determined x and y the distance of this the distance of m1 from the sharp edge is x1 x and the distance of m2 from the sharp edge is y so clearly from here you can observe the x in this particular is 40 and this is 10 so this is 40 minus 10 you can see the distance between the point where you hang the m1 and the point you have found the balancing point is 40 and this was at 10 40 minus 10 it is 30 cm and x and y is you can see this point was 90 and this is 40 so this distance is 90 minus 40 so this is 50 cm i hope it is clear to you now what you have to do just now apply the principle so at balancing point the m the weight m into x should be equal to that m2 into y now you can put the values so you can find this unknown m1 is equal to m2y by x so from here you can calculate that uh, m2 is known to you that is m2 times y is uh, 50 by 30 so that is how you can determine now remember this is known already known to you and this was the unknown so very simple be careful with the distances you measure measure this distance from the balancing point to the hanging point 
that is x1 and then balancing point to hanging point of the unknown mass or unknown mass y and just equate the torques that is the principle of moments that is this experiment that's all